Hi everybody, welcome to Pierre's Garage. <laughs> Hi again, welcome. So I'm Pierre, Philip from Phil's Projects. We're uh, together to uh, kind of uh, wrap up this project about uh, what we did for Keith. Uh, yeah, every year we uh, make tools for Keith and when we do, uh, we make additional ones. Um, in the past, everybody has always uh, been helpful and supported us by buying uh, the extra tools that we make. Uh, this year we're going to have uh, 15 pairs of jacks in a beautiful wooden box. I, I've been talking with Murray and I know he's been working hard at it uh, despite his uh, other scheduled items. Uh, so, you know, there's quite a few people. Murray, last year's winner, is involved in this one, which is really great. Uh, he's very happy uh, to give back to the community. Uh, also, uh, Robert did... Uh, yeah, Robert also did, gave did us a hand. Gave us a hand on this. Uh, he's helping me with a lot of uh, electronic stuff and uh, lots of other stuff to come too. So, you, you got a, a pair of jacks. Um, a pair of one inch, pair of three quarter inch spacers, uh, the rod and a pair of quarter inch ball bearings that's gonna go in it. Yeah, that's about what you see there. Just the jacks, uh, changeable heads, you know, both changeable heads. You un unscrew the uh, this top part there, so it uh, ends up uh, going up, adjustable. Um, uh, little, little sections there, one inch, uh, 30, uh, 25, uh, 25.4 millimeters, 90 millimeters, for yeah. three quarters of an inch. They stack up, you know, you can stack them all up if you want to, if you got something really high. And uh, you want to build yourself some accessories for this? Yeah, it's, it's a great, the fun part with this project, you know, is you can build off of it. You can create any heads you like. Uh, I know I've crafted uh, already a couple of feet, uh, wider feet, just for the fun of it, uh, to bridge the, the gap, depending on how you're using it. So it's a fun, it's a, it's a good tool. It's made out of 4340 pre-hardened. Um, beautiful finish, really well made. And uh, it's something that you can build off of and uh, adapt in to whatever your needs are. So... Uh, it's, it's as hard as hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it won't scratch easy, and that, uh, that's a tool that will last you for life. I mean, that's, yeah. uh, it's, me it's meant to laugh. 4340 is... Uh, Tough stuff. Quite quite a little step above uh, 4140, and it's really uh, excellent steel. does a nice finish, and it's just like a uh, resistance. And yeah. That was a good choice. All these here? Look at, yeah. the, look at the box. <laughs> that, that's Pierre's half. I made as yeah. many, so... <laughs> yeah, that's a half. And the, uh, the other uh, extensions... Standoffs, yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite finished yet. I got a few, a few little more of those uh, to do. But uh, Philip came down today. He gave me a pretty good hand. Here I got my friend Philip. He's giving me a pretty good hand. He's smoking his peanuts. Yeah, smoking. <coughs> he complains that I smoke. His machine's ten times as bad. We're uh, trying a new, uh, new oil here. Oil. Oil. Earl, let's go open up the garage door for a minute. Another one bites the dust. No music here, so I gotta sing. Yeah, don't get me nailed for the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, learning lessons. Yeah, right here, I'm pretty much down to the last, uh, you know, let's say parts for the screw jacks I've been doing all these uh, external turning there external turning on these parts there too uh, these are the uh, tougher ones to do with the you know pretty much a lot of removal over here and uh, much more over here so far it's been performing pretty good I'm uh, okay I've used some for other things but for this actual project this is the uh, the first one I'm putting aside uh, pretty well uh, pretty you know, it's getting worn a little bit, but uh, no more wear. Also, I'm going to be installing a new one. There we go. This is a dollar fifty, and uh, I've been doing all this on this, on on this one dollar fifty. I think that's uh, very good. There's also some four corners left on this, on the uh, other tool that uh, it can be installed on now. So, dollar uh, fifteen, not even finished. So that's pretty good, I'd say. Let's go and go. Uh, let's go late and uh, keep on the work. Okay, I guess we're all seeing Harold starting his projects on the van. So here we'll be starting on the uh, just the facing operation. This is 4340 facing the end. Then it doesn't need to be super nicely done. Just good enough. There we go. Next up, making a hole into this. Uh, part there for about uh, over two inches a hole but this is too fast if you don't use them with coolant they will have to be uh, slowed down uh, 581 roughly 
thousands. Um, I'll be using this much uh, slower. I'll be using this uh, 300 dive. That should be uh, fast enough. And uh, because, like you see here, it still comes quite uh, quite warm. Okay, we're now at 300 RPMs. I'll try to. Uh, normally, you don't need to start them up with a uh, point. It's going very good to start. Oops. If it wobbles a little bit, here's a little trick that you can use to. Uh, There you go. If you got some wobbling a little bit, just lean your uh, lean this right on there. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There you go. We're started. What till the uh, the whole head of the uh, drill is in the uh, in the hole? Once the whole head is in the hole, remove this and see, no more wobbling. Now let's go. We're putting a little bit of oil in there. Check the chips. They'll be coming in from uh, pretty deep. So if you happen to make this, uh, you know, the inside uh, come hard because you're feeding too hard, too fast, uh, you'll be in big trouble. You'll be wearing your drill bits, your spade, your spades pretty much faster than they should and also you'll be uh, hardening the uh, material. This material is pretty hard uh, by itself and it's pretty hardenable too so just be careful. Some of the chips here were starting to come out a little bit too uh, colored to my taste so uh, I, I slowed down a little bit. And I'm feeding by hand. Could be going a little faster. If I had some uh, flood coolant in there That'd be flying in. That'd be about uh, I don't know, maybe five or five or six times faster in this, but uh, no flood coolant. That's good enough. Here you're able to see that the chips are not packing in. They're coming out pretty good. These drill bits are uh, a very nice tool to work with. Four point seven inches. 100 and almost 120 millimeters. Okay, what we want to do here is to open up the inside of this uh, part. I'll be using the smaller boring bar. I'm going to go from uh, 600 thousandths, a little bit less, to 700 thousandths. I'll be taking three cuts. Uh, there's going to be a tread in there. And uh, after that, the second part there, I'll be able to use a bigger boring bar. But I'll use a smaller boring bar to do the whole entry there. Okay, keep in mind that I'm using this. This is cheap, but uh, for starting, that's more than good enough within a few thousands. So we're uh, 575 thousands. We want to bring this to um, 700 thousands, plus minus a thousand. There's going to be a tread in the, uh, in, in the other extreme. Okay. Now what is the length of the boring bar? Is about what we need plus a little bit more. So we'll be using the boring bar right down to the end, taking about 40 thousands per cut which is uh, 40 thousandths is almost a millimeter per cut and the advance on this is about 0.3 millimeter about four, 13 thousandths of an inch per rev so that's pretty aggressive and we'll be calibrating the DRO according to the first this first pass here uh, slowing down a little bit let me just get the uh, gears to the right uh, the right place 375 rpms let's uh, give ourselves a a debut of calculations here. Okay, this is 575 on tool number two. So this measurement is not the most important measurement we can do. It's just a starting point. I'll be bringing this to uh, 620 or just about, and we'll make the adjustments as we go. So what we need now, just that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, we'll be uh, starting 575 to 620, just about. And uh, let's see how this goes. The end of the boring bar is the uh, signal to stop. Okay, now we're starting to uh, 
talk a little bit more seriously about uh, making the right measurements. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're supposed to be reading 620, but we're not going to be reading 620. I'd be happy if we do, but I'm sure we won't. Okay, 593. Let's put that in the DRO. Take another cut. This one will make it uh, 640. We're not going to be at 640. And there's some flex in there. We're uh, trying to reach the... Uh okay. It's doing the removal we have to do. Uh, let's see how we're getting there. I don't think we'll be fired. 640. 619. We're tracking 20, 20 thousands behind. There we go, 660, and let's go for 660. Yes, this little bar is taking a huge cut. But you don't have to worry about that. Let's see what it's... Let's see what it's taken. We're going to be getting closer every time to... Uh, see, we're tracking about, uh, I'd say, within two thousands. Let's make it 700 now. Okay, I'm 700 thousandths. This is the last cut. And I am not going to um, rub it on the uh, on, on the walls when I'm coming back though. That should be pretty close from 700 thousandths. Okay gonna be a clean uh, clean surface in there and this is gonna be a final cut Okay, took uh, four cuts. We're within, well, half a thousand. And we were getting about 40 thousands per cut at least. Not too bad. What do you think about that? Okay, the next up is this part right here. 800,000. I'll be using a bigger bar and this is going to be made in uh, from, you know, proximate measurement to uh, exact measurement in the uh, three cuts. We're taking about 30 something thousands per cut. Okay, now we're turning a little faster. We know that this inside diameter here is 700,000. Let me just get on it. That's it. We'll be seven, 730 733, 766, and 800. We'll be making this uh, pretty well. Okay, I'm, I'm entering 700 thousandths now. Let's go for it. Let's make it 733. That's about that. First one.
Okay, 723.4. This, this bar is actually a solid carbide bar, so it's much more rigid than the other one. Okay, 723, entering this. Now, se 766. Oh, come back. There we go. Now, let's see where this is. We kind of gain from the last time. 760 and a half. So, let's enter this into the arrow. Okay, let's make this 800. We should be pretty close on this one. And naturally, when I get to the end, uh, pull out without uh, rubbing the walls. There we go. So we're within uh, one and a uh, a little bit more than one thousand off. Not too bad. Just the final uh, clean up. Okay, I'm calibrating this uh, this in, this new this new bar. Uh, I'm at eight hundred thousands there. Bit mess up at the end. I'll be taking this in two two passes. Okay, this is my zero. I want to go 875 the first time, 100 thousand deep. Second one, 950. We're going for 950, hand fed. I'm going to feel when I reach the other one. There we go. Okay, next step to do on this. Okay, I'll be calibrating. It's 1256. And it's gonna be brought back to 1200. There we go, okay, let's get the end. And two passes. We calibrate on the first pass. 32, 27, 25. Okay, this is zero. Yeah, I hate I hate when it gets the camera lens. Okay, first pass. Thirteen uh, thirteen thousandths per rev. Okay, let's check this. This is clean. One two twenty. So let's enter this into the DRO. This is going to be the last pass. On a very small, a uh, much smaller pass like this, will be uh, probably stuck with uh, fuzz balls. That's it. Yep, I'm getting out of the way. That's something you never touch. Still got my fingers and I learned that very early in the career. This is tough. This is not tough. Okay, finish is nice. Th remember, this is 13, uh, 13 thousandths per, uh, per rev in the advance on this and uh, you're about 0.3 millimeter advance. Turning 100, uh, 1000 RPM, sorry. Okay, two passes. One inch, 199.7. With three tenths and two, uh, and two passes. Heat on this, not too bad. We'll be maybe a tenth or two down. We're well within, uh, within tolerances. Okay, let's make a chamfer on this. Nice chamfer.
I'm, I'm happy to have this guy. Yeah, so so that way he's trying to, you know, blackmail me into coming here so I'd stop nagging him <laughs> on my channel about finishing these. Yeah, good good things I uh, pick up uh, blackmailing <laughs> stuff on once in a while. <laughs> so I can get free help. <laughs> huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Okay, so enough joking. Um, that wasn't a joke. Yeah, well, you know, there's always a little truth behind that. That was joke. real. <laughs> Glad oh. I picked my nose first. <laughs> uh, Don't worry, I won't barf on you. <laughs> uh, okay, là, il faut faire une terminaison parce que ça, ça va être à la fin. Je pense qu'il est meilleur que l'autre.